Hello, Gator Nation. On the very floor where Florida knocked off number 24 Vandy in overtime four days ago, they now welcome in number 11 Kentucky. They also welcome College Game Day to town. And Jay Billis joins us now from down there on the floor in Gainesville. Jay, you're in SEC country. Let's talk SEC. Bama with the best conference record. Florida's on top in the East. Kentucky, the highest ranked school from the SEC, but in third in their own division. So just which is the best team in the conference in your mind? You know, David, it's really hard to tell because I think the middle has become compressed in the Southeastern Conference, but there are some really good teams in the league. I tend to think that Florida has a great chance to wind up winning the league because they've got all five starters back and they've got some experience. I still think that by the end of the year, though, Kentucky is most likely to be the best team because of the talent that they've got. You know, Kentucky has, is not a deep team. The one thing standing in their way is they don't really have a post presence. But with Brandon Knight, Terrence Jones, Deron Lamb coming off the bench with the firepower he has from the perimeter, I think they have the most talent in the Southeastern Conference as they gain experience, as they learn how to win on the road. And tonight's game is going to be a, a big learning experience for them to, to try to get a win in this place. I think they're going to wind up being the best, the best team in the SEC. A man with the courage of his convictions calling uh, Kentucky the best team right there in Gainesville. All right, uh, unless you're Joe Lenardi, it may be a bit premature to start grinding over bubble teams, but give us a team that badly needs a win on this first Saturday of February. You know, I think it's Baylor. You know, Baylor's only quality wins are against Oklahoma State and Colorado. Right now in the RPI, and it's still a little bit early for the RPI, but we're getting into that area where it's a, it's a pretty useful tool. Uh, they're sitting at 81. Now, that's on the outside looking in. And Baylor was an Elite Eight team last year. They've got Leisterius Dunn, a Perry Jones, Quincy Acey. They've got quality players, but they turned the ball over at a really high rate. In Big 12 play, they're turning over one out of every four possessions. They're playing at Texas A&M today. Texas A&M, one of the best defensive teams, not only in the Big 12, but in the country if they could knock off the Aggies I think Baylor might be able to solidify a position in the Big 12 and get on a little bit of a run because they have got the talent but if they lose this ball game who knows what could happen they're running out of opportunities it's a team that's lost four of six they're tied for fifth right now in the Big 12 Jay Billis getting us ready for another day of college hoops the game day crew at the O'Connell Center college game day coming up at the top of the hour Jay we'll talk to you soon thanks David